Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and welcome to More Legends, a unique e-learning platform for League of Legends players. Now, this is episode 1 of our Dev Diary, and in this series we're going to be talking about the new features we've got available, as well as some upcoming features. Now, I think it would be nice to kick off the first episode with the new match analysis. And as we're going to talk about some science, we're going to need this. The science glasses. Now, first of all, let's take a look at the new match analysis we've got available. Say, you play the game and now you're seeing some figures, as I am right now. So, take a look at the first point here, which is the match impact. Now, this shows you, surprise, how much impact you've got on a particular match. Think about it this way, like, in the Summoner's Rift, you've got, typically, two teams, five players each, which makes it 10 players. Now, your match impact is 100%, which makes it 100% divided by 10 players, 10% each. So typically, an average player would have a match impact of 10%. So that means that if you score more than 10% in this category, that means that you have a lot of impact on a particular game. However, if you score less, that's, you know, not that much impact. So maybe you can work on it in some way. Now, when it comes to calculating the match impact, we take a lot of things into account. Uh, for example, the damage, the towers that you take, the amount of deaths that you have, etc, etc. So, now let's move on. The next section on the match analysis page is this. You've got your key game indicators compared to your lane opponent. Now, on the left and the right, you have some common parameters, such as gold per minute, KDA, vision score, etc. Now, in the center, there are seven key categories. Farm, survivability, vision impact, aggression score, fighting score, objective control, and concentration. So, the gold scale here is your performance, whereas the gray scale is the performance of your opponent. Let's take a look at each of these indicators. The first category here is farming. This one shows you how well you last hit minions and neutral monsters. Also takes into account your gold advantage over your lane opponent, as well as your overall gold advantage as a team against the enemy team. Survivability. This number deals with the amount of your deaths compared to the objectives you lost because of your deaths. It also takes into account such things as tower dives. Now, if you don't die, this score will reach 100%. If you die too much, however, this score will be somewhere around zero. Vision. This stat is pretty simple, guys. As you know, vision is very important in every single match you play in League of Legends. So when calculating this stat, we take into account the amount of wards that you set, as well as the amount of wards that you destroy. Also, if you didn't know, there's been official scientific research that proves that vision actually wins games. Aggression. This is simply how aggressive you are. It's not always a good idea to be aggressive, though. For example, if you're playing a mobile late-game scaling mage, then you should probably aim at low aggression. However, if you're playing a counter jungler or an assassin, then you've got to be super aggressive, and this score will tell you exactly how aggressive you are. To calculate this stat, we use such things as your gank efficiency, initiative, as well as how far from your safe zones you were in a particular game. The next here is fighting score, and it basically tells you how efficient you are in teamfights. When calculating it, we take into account how efficiently you convert your gold into damage or healing, how much damage you dish out before going down, how much damage you mitigate, and how effective your crowd control is. The next one here is objective control, and it's not very difficult either. Basically, what's going on here is that we take a look at every epic monster you take, how well you convert your kills into taking objectives, your damage to objectives and towers, and finally, how well you realize Hand of Baron. Well, hopefully better than my team did during the last game. And finally, in this section, you see concentration. Basically, this one tells you how well you focus on the game itself and the events that are taking place. For now, the algorithm works with the following things. So, first of all, it's your deaths and the impact they have on the lost objectives. Second of all, it's tilt, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is and also throw in the game being far ahead. To be completely fair with you guys, this algorithm doesn't really work perfectly at the moment, so we would really appreciate your feedback. For example, you had an awesome game and then suddenly you get a very low score on the concentration scale, and vice versa, you had a very bad game and then you get a very high score. If something like that happens, guys, make sure you let us know so we can fix it. Alright, moving on. The next section basically shows you all the parameters that the match analysis currently takes into account. This one is a bit tough though, so I got a special letter from our crew that explains how it works. I'm gonna read it to you right now. We analyze a lot of matches and identify the mean number for every category in the won games and in the lost games at a given rank. After that, we can tell how important the category is. 
then your performance is compared to the average performance on this champion at this rank. If your performance is better, then you get the positive result, and vice versa. If the performance is not good, you get negative numbers. Mind that the influence of all categories on the result of a game will always be equal to 100% in absolute values. To be fair, I don't completely understand that myself, but I surely know how to use it. Let me show you. Imagine you lose a game and now you want to know exactly what went wrong. So check these categories out. Find the one with the lowest negative score and voila, that's your biggest problem. Now you know what you have to work on. On this note guys, I think it's time to wrap the first episode up. And I really hope that you enjoyed it. We're currently working on many interesting things, for example, quests overhaul, identifying more in-game mistakes and comparing your stats to any member of the enemy team and much, much more. So guys, stay tuned for updates and check the new match analysis at morelegends.com. On this note, thank you so much for watching this video, you're awesome. And as always, good luck in your solo queue.